Hello everyone and welcome to a new game here on the channel. Uh, today we're going to be playing Timberborn. I have played Timberborn before, but I've never played using the Iron Teeth. I've always played using the Foxtails. This is all going to be very new. First things first, let's uh, try and get these beavers some water. Put some halves down, I think. Half down all the way around down to the water because we're going to need that later. Uh, we're going to put the deep water pump in. Yeah, we'll start with that. Close up as well. Down. resources but apparently not. So let's uh, move off there and get ourselves checked. Yeah. Trees marked cutting. We will bring a path in here. Yeah. Beavers gathering. Reaches everything, so that will that. Uh, seven beavers and four kits. Four baby beavers. Beaver. Like I said, I've played using the fox tail before, uh, played it on hard mode, um, but this is just a normal run through on the plains map. I thought I'd keep it nice and simple for the first playthrough. Uh, this is also the third update for the game and uh, it, there's quite a few new things but I just want to go go easy you the iron teeth it's barrack sound for them homeless Priority, all, maximum priority when I play is always food and water. Everything else is the uh, just a normal high priority instead of super high priority. So um, it just means I've always got a steady flow of water and everyone's happy. Storage down as well. Yeah, a... Enter that down early because we're going to need uh, science points which will enable us to unlock other things in the game and that is basically crucial for all of that. Um, get a dam going across. Run out of water. Going across there for the time being. Keep all the water this side at a higher level. And we'll get a path going across there and a path across there. And build all that. That'll keep this area green during droughts. Look at unblocking that to keep this area greener. Little barrier there. Okay. I'm gonna go with buildings resource. Take out those and that. And then we'll put the path across there as well. I'll mark that for demolition. And that means this water will flow into this area, make this area greener. We've got that. 
basic stuff set up. Johnny. Farmhouse. They're all ready. Bring this path across here and then put a farmhouse down here, which covers a nice large area. This is basically for the, the green green area, or the area that's going to be green, so let's take up that. I'll have down just here. Time being, I'm going to pop down... Uh, let's do a big line of carrots across here. Time being, and again, uh, food workplaces always have a high priority. Um, I normally put down two farmhouses, but one on planting, the other one on harvesting. As we're short of beavers, we'll put everything down to one for the time being. The thing that's unique about the um, iron teeth is that you do get more beavers. Put down. Uh, the breeding pods. Do those down. And these require blueberries. Um, in order to create new beavers. Put down some storage for dogs here. Uh, more bit. Or the blueberry. Those two blueberries. That and use blueberries. Another medium warehouse down. Start doing carrots. Place the spoon. Water. Run out of luck very quickly. Then. This cutting area and vines. First, we need to unlock a forester, and that enables us to plant more trees. And being, we're going to have to get the lumber mill up and running. And create some planks, create the forester. Priority the building, that priority the building, make that a high priority working. Actually no make it make it an, an, a, just a high priority for construction. And this high priority for construction. Exactly. There. All of this other stuff, like these, getting all the logs and stuff for the time being, uh, this be a priority construction as well because we're going to start our beavers will die off they're good I mean, no. off there I've got that down here for those beavers down there and we'll pull the lumberjack flag. Don't need that one just yet. Okay now we've got our carrots being uh, planted there. We've got 
20 berries, we're going to need those berries, so I do ideally want to be just using the carrots. easier. I don't want those to be uh, taking away the berries at the moment we're short of food and everyone's hungry so this is a high priority construction site and a high priority workplace. Priority as well because at the moment we can get the science we can get. Just unlocked ability. Get the forester there for 60 uh, science points. Another high priority construction site. We don't need to beat that to be a high priority workplace. And first we're going to get some some quick logs and put down some birch first. It only takes nine days, but we can get one log, and then what we'll do is we'll just fill this area with people over here. That gives us three logs in uh, eight logs in thirty days. So as these get chopped down, we'll replace them with maple. That should cover us for both of those areas, which is good. connected and not that to be the next district. Yeah. That bush there, I can't go round the other way. Need them to finish building this room. And to be honest, keep that water trapped in there would be good because this area green uh, for planting oh, my crops over here. This is going to be my main planting area over here uh, for food and then this will be my temporary planting area for trees because we're going to need a lot more trees. Um, this faction does rely heavily on logs um, in order to do quite a lot of stuff. I do need to have a good log supply. Finish that with that quickly. As soon as they do, they'll start getting food. It's not much, it's some. These carrots are much more really. Take long now. There you go, we can get to those berries just there uh, just fine. Another path up and around here. Down. Just so that we can get those berries as well. This lumber mill, this lumber mill creates planks. Those planks are going to go straight here into the forester. And once that forest is made, they can start. That can obviously start planting more trees for us to use everywhere else. Come on, 
might do is get everybody harvesting for the time being. They're in a bit of a bit of a rush to get food. But nowhere to store it, which is gonna be a bit of an issue. Because this hasn't been built yet. But with, there's no point in building this until these are made, because these are of a higher priority. We need that to plant more trees to give us more logs to make other things. There's a fine balance in the game. And we're coming up to our first drought. 2.9 days and we haven't finished building this. So all this area is going to dry up. Except for that there. Because I haven't got enough logs to finish my dam. And even if I did, I couldn't get that built in three days now. The beavers are unemployed so I can't bring any more builders across into the workplace. We could, we could pause the inventor. Don't need inventing it at the moment. Don't need any science points at the moment. Uh, there are other things that are more important to be building. a high priority a priority because we need logs it'll just have to be the one builder in the uh, in the main district for the time being getting quite quite the amount of food though which is good once we get up to 10 beavers I'm going to pause the breeding pod because I don't want to have too many beavers too quickly now that we're most of the way through these carrots, I'm going to turn one of them back to planting because we don't want to run out of carrots again. Beaver there, cutting logs, beaver there, cutting logs, good, cutting trees even. One of the beavers into guys run out of logs pretty much anyway, so we'll switch this one here. Yeah. Cut down the remainder of those trees. We're just gonna have to go without water in this area for the first drought won't be for long. But just have to, just have to be whatever it is really. Come over here and chop down some of these chestnuts and birch, birch trees down here. Um, if we get desperate, in fact, there's a start pathing for that now. I feel as if we're going to need those logs and a lumberjack flag down there, lumberjack flag down there, and then once this is built, we'll be able to get to those. just sped through our drought and we've just got the water coming back in now and as you saw uh, we got our planks and we started um, uh, when we built our, built our forester and now we have little to worry about when it comes to logs we can unpause uh, all of uh, not all of it I'm not entirely sure I even want this uh, warehouse at the moment but this this warehouse is going to be for carrots and we're going to need that storage space and at the moment everything's being stored within the farmhouses which is fine I mean we've got 50 there 50 there so that can give us a hundred food store um, but we we really want the uh, medium warehouse to make things better we also want these dams to be of a high priority build because I don't want to go through another dry seat uh, a drought where our riverbed dries up because as you saw all of this area dries up and that stops the trees from growing and if there are already trees that have grown in that area then they will die and they yield a lot less logs 
Now we're just gonna eating up a bit of the area. And we are up to nine beavers. Probably unpause one of these breeding pods. Actually, yeah, we'll get it built. And then we'll pause them for doing anything. Because again, I still don't want a lot of beavers very quickly. I want to make sure that we are really well sorted with the beavers that we have. And you know, make sure we've got logs and that sort of thing. The construction down on these slightly. Because that that grindstone um grinds the beavers' teeth and increases their chance of gathering logs, basically. If they've got broken teeth, their log gathering will go down and they won't get the maximum yield from the logs. That's from the trees. What's that? I don't want that actually doing anything at the moment. As well, un that. And I'm going to put down some food. Put down a small section of potatoes first. A little bit of potatoes, just three or four rows. Two, three, four. And we'll put down a grill. Okay, so just give them better better food really. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that. We've got a place that we can store the berries it's within the um gatherer flags. And it's only twenty, but that should be enough just to keep our breeding pods going for the time being. And because that guy's not doing anything, I'm gonna pause him because this one can take care of all of these berries. In fact, we may as well just get rid of those entirely. All our birch trees getting planted. These will grow quicker, but you would yield less logs. Grow nine days, yield one log, as these maple grow 30 days and yield 8 logs, which is much better. I'm going to check out where everyone's working. Place it. Farmhouses. Nobody. Okay. Forester, gather a flag, jack, farmhouse, farmhouse, port pump, on these growings fine for the time being. We're short of a couple of workplaces. I will need one in the grill. A couple builders at the moment. Building. I don't have any science. We ideally need a couple more beavers. We're a bit low really on the beaver front so we just play on that breeding pod. Start getting some other breeding pod unpaused. Really, just a waiting game now, uh, waiting on some additional dogs just so we can get some things built. I say this this dam here is a is a big priority. Put that maximum priority there. Normal that could be normal priority. Back down to normal priority because we don't need any more breeding pods. Yes. Mark area because those uh, birch trees will uh, mature soon. 77% on that.
Check. Not quite got enough in the way of population at the moment. It hasn't quite planted everything across. One in farmhouses. One in the district centre. We got two lumberjack flags. Because we've got no builders, so let's pause that track and quickly prioritise building for the time being because we do need builders. Get this dam built. Once the dam's built and you've got the logs that are in there, we'll get them chopping trees again. trees down they'll go into storage there and then we'll keep going with some more uh, dams across there. At the moment without having a balance of lumberjacks uh, to uh, builders we're sort of using up logs but they're not getting put down anywhere. a lot neater in the future but we just want to get the basics down to start off with i really want to get this this dam built because i'm worried about losing this growing area really where else we can put maple in that lot okay even though we haven't got a forester at the moment Doing in go into there and he can building dams. Oh my love daddy. Doesn't look that could be they use up their logs, go into there, back turn those ones back on, vice versa. One of those beavers. One builder. And we've only got two more damn people to, to construct, so that one beaver can deal with that in the district centre. And just clear this area, we won't chop any more, we won't use this as a tree chopping area any longer. This is going to be our main tree harvesting area. Once we get another couple of beavers, we can put a beaver permanently in the forester. Another beaver for the grill over here. And probably get one one more in each of the farmhouses here. And then we we should be pretty stable um in the in the sort of early game. Still plenty to be done. So many things we've got to build. Uh, down here we've got, you know, Power wheel, uh, water wheels and gravity batteries, engines. The engine provides power by using logs. That all comes with the inventor, and we don't have a beaver permanently in the inventor yet, creating science points for us to use. Because 
a bit awkward really, but we'll work with it for the time being. This one builder is going to get all these buildings built for us. This one will be the handy one because once the log, once this gets built, all the logs can just be stored in there without being stored inside the lumberjack uh, flags. Because they only have a minimum amount of storage, as you can see, 20 there. As well, high prioritize that so that, that one gets done after this because this doesn't need any materials, it just needs a beaver to approach it and say it's finished. Get up to we've got ten well seven normal seven fully grown beavers and three kits there, so that'll give us ten soon. Oh no, we just lost one. Died of old age. So yeah, we just need a Finish that off. I prioritise that just for a second because I really want that to be finished before the next drought comes in. And it won't take much. Finish that off. How many logs? We've got four logs. Logs there, so. Pull someone off of something and being. Let's pause the gatherer flag. Get these logs cut. Four logs. We already did, but apparently not. That'll be that finished. Push it to a 24 hour day just because I want that one bit of dam to be finished. Perfect. Right, and then you can go back there. Okay. And rest. Buildings and beavers, buildings get built and beavers grow up. We have plenty of workforce for what we have so far. I think all in the forest, so we need one in the forest to really ideally um, urgent right now because we do have some trees that have been planted. Sober. We don't want to run out of trees entirely, otherwise, it really messes things up. In terms of what you're building. Building with S turn this back down to a normal priority. One crit collecting box in there. Plenty of berries for the time being for our breeding pods, which is fine. Really want that those berries to run out because that could up a little bit as well because if the berries run out then we're not uh, making any new beavers and then all po our population will just die off very quickly but this time one work got someone back in forester building they're planting all the trees which is perfect all we are Filling this area with maple. I don't want anything else in that area. And this area is filled with birch. So this is our short-term uh, log solution. Once all this starts growing, then I'll take out these ones and switch them to maple. But only after these ones have grown up. with the drought just about upon us i think i'll leave it there for the first episode in this new series here on the channel if you uh like to see more of this please subscribe and i'll be uploading this regularly bye for now